Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Well, we're going to munch down on another one of these space chilies. Look at this mutated looking thing. This is the HJ2 Meteor space chili. Take a look at that corkscrew looking shape. Really mutated. All right, now these were sent to me from the Pepper King. You know who the Pepper King is, right? That is Mr. Jim Duffy from Refining Fire Chilies. And make sure you check him out for any questions you guys have at superhotchilies.com. All right. Well, you've probably seen enough of these reviews. You know that uh, these are part of a uh, China space breeding program where they sent up uh, different uh, chili seeds and vegetable seeds. Uh, it's an ongoing program. Uh, they first started doing it back in the mid 80s where they send up uh, seeds and satellites, uh, recoverable satellites, have them orbit the earth and subject these seeds to uh, zero uh, gravity and to cosmic radiation. And they're finding that uh, these peppers could be more nutritious, uh, more flavorful in some cases, uh, mutated, of course, uh, more disease resistant. Uh, but they're really ramping up their program. They're really involved in it, uh, doubled their efforts and, in, and uh, investments into this in the last few years. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this thing. Now, this uh, Meteor, HJ2 Meteor, I believe is one of the uh, newer uh, strains. They say it's a light green fruit which matures to crimson red and you can see here that this is really starting to uh, turn a deep colored red uh, they say it's about has about 45 to 80 no that's the grams it's they, they consider it spicy it's about 85 to 90 days growing to flowering uh, germination rate uh, 85 percent plus and uh, high cropping disease resistant so let's go ahead and get into this thing once again the hj2 Meteor. Juicy, crunchy, a little bit sweet. Mm. Can you tell already? This one's um, a little bit on the spicy side. Seems like the red ones are more spicy. Spicy sweet. It's not bitter. It's not floral. Juicy. Keep saying it over again. Juicy, sweet, slightly fruity as well. Mm. Definitely not as spicy as the, let me see which one was that. I think it was the uh, HJ10 Afterglow. That thing was this, uh, pretty spicy. Um, after the review, it, uh, it had a pretty good little burn on it. But uh, this is mild. Uh, well, not, not exactly mild, but definitely uh, maybe in the level of a jalapeno. I don't think it's as strong as a cayenne. Um, but uh, around in there. But... Uh, Great flavor on this one. I think this would be awesome for drying, um, just eating straight like this. But you know, chop them up, put them in salads. But uh, these space jellies are really cool. Um, so if you guys are interested, um, make sure you contact Jim Duffy for the seeds. Now Jenny Song did provide the seeds uh, to Jim Duffy. Uh, once again, she did say that these were uh, F F1 hybrids. So uh, make sure you know where you're going to when you get the seeds, uh, for example, like for Jim from Jim Duffy. So, uh, Jim, thank you very much for that. I really do appreciate it. That was another uh, awesome tasting um, space chili. Very impressed with these. Very fun looking chilies. Be an awesome chili plant to grow to kind of show off to people. But make sure you check Jim Duffy out at superhotchilies.com for any questions that you have. All right, that's my review for the HJ2 Meteor. Very spicy, slightly sweet, a little bit fruity uh, pepper. 
So another good one for those space chilies. All right, everybody. Uh, until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn, and we'll see you guys later.